well, it's morning here in New Zealand. Um, and on the other side of the world, uh, you've got summer, we have got winter. And uh, it got me thinking about the icebreaker bot that Microsoft team uh, blogged about today. This bot um, is, or has been created to help uh, different teams or members within a team to, to meet each other. Works quite well in big teams, right? So if you have a large group of people, large group of members, then they will um, be paired up by the bot. Uh, their calendars will be checked for availability and they'll be paired off uh, and get a, an email. I think it was 10 a.m. Monday is the example given in the blog. Um, an invite to, to a, a meeting with a random person in their team. And uh, it's, it's working really well for the Microsoft Teams team. They see it as a way of building up camaraderie and working as a team. But I see its potential for being used as um, a, a user adoption tool. Imagine being able to pair people up as they are getting used to their modern workplace and, uh, and they can talk about their, their experiences. Um, a fun way to be able to get people to start using Microsoft Teams. Um, could also use it, uh, I was thinking also in terms of talking about different topics. Um, like uh, sometimes you have safety briefings and it's all about trying to, to talk about safety and um, you know, recent things that have happened. So these are a couple of ideas, but I really do see its potential as a, a user adoption tool, getting people uh, into the, the zone of using Teams and uh, doing it in such a fun way to, to meet the rest of people. I wonder if it works with the org wide team. Um, I've posted something on the blog, we'll see, see what the response is there, but lots of potential, maybe create a group there for just the purpose of meeting. That's uh, Daryl as a server signing off with uh, another walk pool thinkyoki. Catch you later.